Hello and welcome to my channel. Today I am going to take and make, I'll show you, I will make a uh, tower section for the crane. Uh, I have made some of them, yes. But I just want to show how it's made, or how I make it, not how it's made, because that's a program already. Uh, excuse the dirtiness of the table, I'm just uh, having, uh, I made some weight molds for the crane. As I have a crane already up and half running, but never mind. Uh, this is the bottom piece and it has, I mean it's put, there it's down and we have this piece and you see the shape of it so it doesn't really fit, yeah it does fit but it doesn't look good right so you have to turn this one over to get it right because it's meant to be there uh, let's see, we take super glue, I use either super glue or all the humbrol glue. I have though drilled up the holes to fit these screws two millimeter wide. So I just do this. Simply enough. That's it. And just put this, try to line it up the best I can. Kind of so. Then I could put something heavy on it, like a water bottle. That works great. Put a cap on, because we're not going to do any more mixing of uh, concrete kind of lighter concrete. I have this house fix. It's a powder that you fix uh, the facade and stairs and whatever with and I'm making molds so but over to this it's not going to be a very long one uh, I'm just going to do the simple thing and try to show you that one is glued that is the bottom one but that's a, doesn't matter here's the stairs and it has an angle to it it's angled down that way, if you see these. So it will stand okay on the markings and it will be glued to this one. So we have these side pieces. And as you see, they have this strange thing. And that is supposed to be to the bottom because it's railings. So you don't, so the people don't just fall down okay and uh, as this is the top I will put it on here and there are screw screw holes there so I simply take a screw or two put them in their inner slots hmm that's crap of your neck coming out. That we don't like. Uh, I don't know if these are going to be enough. Or if I have to get better ones. Uh, I need this screw of a driver. Ah, it sticks. It's just a problem to find the 
I mean, don't take it too hard. So, lighten it half because it doesn't go 90, it goes wonky wonky either. So, for now, loosen it a bit. Let's just rinse and repeat. It's nothing hard. This one's a longer one, so I need to order more screws, though. Um, this crane takes a ton of screws. I mean, it screws everywhere and bearings and things, but it's a fun thing. Very fun thing. I got one in the kitchen, where I'm sitting at the moment. Turn it the right way maybe. And I will show you what I do to stiffen this up. Because it's important, a, a tower crane, it's going to be over, over six feet tall maybe seven feet something seven seven eight feet tall it's very simple soon the section is done and uh, we can't do it yeah maybe that has dried out hopefully I'll show you another thing I do to strengthen this crane a bit. Yeah. Uh, as you see here, these are, if they are solid as they should, they are very strong. But they're not solid right now. So we take the super glue and we take some oops, electric tape, I guess will do because it's an old shitty tape so it doesn't matter I can use it to, to whatever I like this is very runny so just go a quick one a quick bead take and uh, put these together take the tape put it around and keep that together just as a security camera so I'm not going to bore you to death today did you get any glue on you? hopefully you got it And I got the printer printing more pieces right now. There, it's printing these because I need to make three of these sections more to get my outdoor crane done. This is going to be outdoors, so it has to be secure for weather and whatever not. Though it is PLA I made it of, whatever you make it of, that's up to you. I made it of PLA and I think it works well. Not too expensive, though the sheer amount it has taken. The first crane took four and a half rolls of filament. So, yeah. I mean, four and a half rolls, that is pretty much, it's some filament. There. Now you see, it's glued together and it's holding up. Just let that dry and it will be hard as a rock. There. I've gone from this 
Loctite. It's five grams and it cost five euro ninety or five dollar ninety and I went to this. Fifty grams cost the same. Ten times more for the same price. That's a thing. Let's see. I guess it's a thing, yes, it's a thing, okay. So, what should we think of? Yeah, first of all, position of that, as the stair is gonna be standing along, uh, along it, we have to position these two tabs opposite from that thing. So, I have to do it like that, and then just, turns around, rinse and repeat, and I, I don't have an uncle, but I guess it's Bob, if I had, or if it's your uncle, I don't know, um, why does it do what to grip, there it grips, not too tight, uh, I will leave, uh, a link to the though it cost th the files it's 193 files STL files I have not made the crane it's a German guy who made this crane so I will I will leave the uh, link to his site or to cult cult 3s uh, 3D cult or whatever it's called uh, and you can buy it yourself if you want it does require a lot of extra things like screws I'm not using the screws he recommend I'm using a lot of other screws but what's suitable for me uh, we need one more of these and I need to buy more screws I'm flat out soon of the ones I need. There we go. Turn it right way up. Take your ladder. Check for what angle, where the angle goes. Now it goes lower this side than that. So turn it that way. Take some. Oops. I mean, it, it pushes all the wall out. This bubble. There we are. Take that. And carefully maneuver it down. Put it into its holders. Or, yeah. There, and just. Do that, kind of jerk it around a bit, so, and there we got it, that's one section made, didn't take long, did it, no, now the other thing is, they have to be connected, so, yes, <coughs> See where I have my connected parts. Uh, close that. Move those. Here we have one connected. These things is for uh, support going down to the uh, bottom piece. So I mean, I think it looks pretty good. And this will then get screwed on like so but I have to open these holes not these uh, upper ones the upper ones I can't open but the lower ones I have to open with a drill bit I can open on these 
course I have the red ones done already so I can get it and I get another one of these sections and then I need a, red, a white one between and that is almost all parts of soon there will be and I guess I already have it yeah it's eight screws that hold it, hold it together so yeah as I told you screws they just push away don't tighten it too much or you will do the make the tower go out of alignment so it won't be straight I guess we do that so you maybe see what I do I just take these screw them down not too hard And I drilled up the hole so it's easy to get it down in in the first thing. But as you see, it has to get something to bite in. So the bottom one, or the top one, I don't drill out. Just rinse and repeat, rinse and repeat. And I will soon make a... I bought the files already, so... I will make a um, windmill. But instead of um, having a motor in it, I will have a generator in it. So it will produce 12 volts. Because where I live, it's all always windy it's a bloody blowhole where I live so I'm gonna try to put up some 3d printed uh, windmills and get some energy 12 volts that will go down to my converters that I already have for uh, my solar panels that give 12 volts or more there, don't tighten it too much. And that was eight screws. Later. There, and be very uh, thorough. So you, so this one is straight to this one. And there's no extra gap between these. But don't over tighten it so this one goes bananas. So that's two sections. And it's... Uh, I think each section is... Hold on. I'm going to get the ruler... Each section is, and I will give it in your, your inches, almost eight inches, or as I used to have it, twenty centimeters. It's exact twenty. So five of these is uh, one uh, three foot. So, and there are they are sturdy. I have glued them together. No, I haven't. Oh. Hmm. Let's glue it together. Or I have tried to glue it together, but I have had it too tight. So if I loosen that, no, that screw and that screw, I will release the tension in this part. Best way is just to do that. Press them. That. 
don't take a clamp if you got clamps um, I got clamps somewhere Clampies, where are you? I'll do the normal that I'll just use tape uh, and I will say that there are there's three motors for this crane so they have to have three motor what are they called that's the one uh, they are called SMS uh, the motor controllers, anyway. They're tightened, or, yeah. Others, it's done. So I have to uh, drill these holes, open them a bit. So they are as wide as this, because if I try to put the screw here, it won't go down, but if I do it on this piece, it should go down. Drop through. So that's all for now. Take it easy and um, have fun 3D printing and building whatever you build. But I'll try to put the link in the uh, description. Bye for now.